Hello everyone and welcome to the Sammy Lawrence video and audio log video. Now, of course, my theories have been coming true about how there's one of every single worker, so there's probably only a few left. And I'm hoping that at the end of all this, something big will be revealed. So, in which I'm excited to see what Sammy has to say since he's always been an interesting character to me. Like, he's always stood out more than a lot of others. Some of them still stand out a lot more than others, but, like, some of them are just there. And then there are just some of them who really stand out, like Sammy and... Bertram, especially to me, they stand out more, but let's go on to the audio log. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. Every time I turn around, there's more work to do. Four cartoons almost complete, and all of them need a tune by tomorrow. Typical Joey planning. I'm working so much, I'm starting to see Bendy in my sleep. That smile. He's always watching me. A few more months of this, I wouldn't be surprised if that grinning demon drove me completely insane. That smile. Something's just wrong with that smile. Can't put my finger on it. Shake it off, Sammy. Best get back to your songs. Someone has to keep the little devil happy. So that was actually very interesting. So Sam Sammy, just like everyone else, is having problems with Joey. And in which Joey's always like overworking them. And in Sammy's case, he's got four cartoons that he's got to make a song for each. In which he's got to make four songs for each of those four. For each cartoon, like... You know what I mean, just one for each cartoon, pretty much. And he's got to make it by tomorrow. Typical Joey Drew. Now he's even seen Bendy in his own sleep because of how much he's worked on these songs for hours and hours. He's more of a loner kind of person, in which he's... Everyone's been worked so hard at the studio, and maybe because that he's worked so long, because it he says that um that he wouldn't be surprised if Bendy would just be driving him insane, in which that kind of did happen. Because that we see him, he's worshipping Bendy, he creates sacrifices, he, he even wears a mask of Bendy, he calls Bendy his savior, he is literally gone, he's literally gone insane, he doesn't know anymore, like he's lost connection to anything. He, but then in chapter 5, when we see his return, he literally lost it. He, Bendy attacked him, and he completely lost his mind. So maybe this is kind of like what's going on. But he's saying something's wrong about Bendy's smile. In which that could explain why... In which that could lead up to why Bendy's smile is twitching, like... Whenever I was originally playing the game on the Switch, I, re I, I was kind of making fun of how Bendy's face is just twitching and shaking. 
almost as if he was in a sugar rush, but after I was listening to a theory video saying how Bendy has seen, I mean, the ink demon seen what he looks like on a cartoon, what his main purpose was for so long to where that smile stuck to his face forever and he can't stop smiling. Because he's never stopped smiling. You can't, you never see him with a neutral face or with a sad, I mean, with a frown. He's always had that grin. But I am hoping that there's, because uh, these have been coming by really quickly now. And almost every single time I see that there's going to be another one, there is another one of that character. So, I'm just excited to see how everything turns out in the end. And which I'm pretty sure all of you guys are just as excited as I am. So, all that we've got left is... Grant, which is the one who does all the taxes. We've got Henry. We've got Allison. And I think that's about it. And I have a feeling that Henry's going to be the last one. Because, of course, Henry is the main character. So maybe next up would be Grant. Because we have... Because Grant's another one of the side characters, and we've been kind of getting into some of the more bigger characters. So maybe there's going to be a little bit of a break between characters with bigger roles and characters with, with smaller roles. So maybe Grant will be next, then Allison, and then finally we'll have Henry as the finale, which he will he will clear up a lot more stuff most likely and maybe he would announce another thing I'm hoping that we actually get like to see like a small little clip of something like a small second just a split second of of what we can see in the, in the next game and I'm hoping that the game comes out on console before the entire game's release, because I really want to play it, and I don't really want to try playing on my computer, because trying to play free roam games is hard enough, in which most of them usually never even load. And I'm pretty sure that it's on Steam, but I don't know if that would work. Because it's a much bigger game than FNAF has ever done, in which... A lot of the fan games, even though they're on Game Jolt, um, Bendy's also been on Game Jolt as well. And I always needed some sort of application to open up the games. So I'm hoping that it will come out on console and do just the same exact thing that... To where you, it's released in chapters and it, you have to buy the next version of it. That's what I'm hoping for, so that it becomes a little bit more available for people sooner, so that they don't have to, like, because for those who want to experience it for themselves, they would have to go through years of waiting. That is, if there is chapters in this game, but we never know. I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a good night.